All right, shifting focus to the U.S. as the race to the White House heats up between Republican Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. The Teamsters Union has decided not to back any of the two presidential candidates. And this for the first time in almost three decades. It's a major blow to Vice President Kamala Harris as the union has a tradition of backing Democratic White House. Now, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters said that they are not endorsing both Trump and Harris in the upcoming November presidential elections. It stated that both candidates are unable to make serious commitments to put the interests of working class people above big businesses. Now, this comes after Vice President Kamala Harris lost the support of majority of the Teamsters union members following President Joe Biden's withdrawal from the election race. Data published by the Teamsters union showed around 60% of its members are now supporting Trump, while only 34% are backing Kamala Harris. However, there was no universal support for both candidates. While addressing a rally in New York, the former President Donald Trump said that union's endorsement is a big thing and a great honor. Democrats in a statement said that they have been endorsed by Teamsters locals and several other labor unions. It's a great honor. They're uh, not going to endorse the Democrats. That's a big thing. And this is the first time in, I guess, 50, 60 years that that's happened. Democrats automatically have the Teamsters. Uh, they took a vote, and I guess I was at 60% or more, and uh, that's a great honor. I mean, it's really, I've had a lot of Teamsters work for me, a lot of the concrete trucks. Meanwhile, Teamsters National Black Caucus raised questions on the voting methodology used to support the union's decision. This is the first time since 1996 that the union is not backing any of the presidential candidates. Traditionally, Teamsters have been a stronghold for Democratic candidates. In the last six presidential elections, the union-backed Democratic candidates, including Hillary Clinton and President Joe Biden in 2016 and 2020. The last time the union backed a Republican candidate was back in 1988 when they endorsed George H.W. Bush. The union's endorsement is considered vital for both Democrats and Republicans as they represent a variety of industries in important swing states like Michigan, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, won by incumbent President Joe Biden in 2020 and former President Donald Trump back in 2016. Teamsters Union represents truck drivers and freight workers and is the last major union to announce a presidential endorsement. Other major labor unions include American Federation of Teachers and the United Auto Workers.